Boy, there's nothing quite like spending the night stuck on the highway because street racers have blocked off the road ahead. Good evening and thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Andrew Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're with us tonight. Now, street racing in Aurora usually involves four or five cars, but what happened there Sunday night was more like the Grand Prix. And Aurora police want to know who was involved, while the mayor wants to know how police were caught off guard. And Denver 7's Gary Broad has our top story. Street racers taking over our roads. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed. Ziad al was one of at least 600 cars at a complete standstill on I-225 between Colfax and Alameda. I see there is a smoke uh, start uh, to go up, uh, heavy smoke. An area with several hospitals nearby. That was a scary part for us is people trying to get to Children's Hospital and shoots. Right there, there's that cancer center. There's a medical center of Aurora just down the way, right? You could cost that person their life. Sites like this have become all too familiar to the Aurora Police Department. It's very concerning, right? We're, we're angry, our community's angry, and we want to find the ones responsible for this. On Monday, Aurora Mayor Michael Kaufman tweeted criticism of his police department, writing in part, it takes a lot of social media chatter to pull off an event like this. I absolutely don't understand how our police department didn't know that this was going to happen. Officer Matthew Longshore says these posts on social media don't stay up long, and some of the posts are designed for the purpose of throwing police off their scent. It's required of the members to look at it, screenshot it, send it around that way, you know, because they don't want to leave these things publicized on social media. Like I think what we saw um, last night actually makes this even more important to uh, get moving um, on a quicker time frame. Aurora yeah. City Council yeah. Member Francois Bergen has already been working on legislation for stricter penalties. Looking at a a proposal of an ordinance that would um, possibly seize the vehicle um, because going after the driver has not been effective. Bergen says it could take about three months before it could go into effect. Beginning of February, we actually started getting quite a few reports from members whose properties we're being impacted by the drag racing. Stephen Shepard works for Building Owners and Managers Association in the Denver Metro. He says not only is street racing dangerous, but several business owners are now losing thousands of dollars because of damages and security. So just one member, almost $40,000 worth of damage because of street racing. In Aurora, Gary Grove, Denver 7.